Um, in this video, I will show you how to um, make a text box that only accept numbers and the backspace. Okay, so um, we're going to add a text box to the form. Resize it, resize the form, send to the text box. Okay, now we're going to um, uh, key press event handler to a text box. So key press. Okay. First of all, we're going to retrieve the preset char um, in a variable. So char ch is equal to e dot key char. So ch will be the preset char. So if we press e, ch will be e, and so on. So then we're going to check if ch is not a digit, or and if ch is not the backspace, and if it's not a digit and it's the backspace, we're going to um, remove the to handle the um, preset char, so so if it's not equal to see if a char dot is digit, so this method return true if um, its first parameter is a digit, else it's, else it's return false. So it's digit ch. So if ch is not a digit and if ch is not equal to eight, eight is the backspace key char. So, okay. So if it's not the backspace and it's not a key, uh, digit, so we're going to handle the key. So you get out unload is equal to true. So now we could test the code. So start with the debugging. Okay. Visual keyboard. So okay, eight. It works. Every digit works. So backspace it works but the letter the letter doesn't work the space doesn't work and the other key doesn't work so okay now we're going to um, make it make the text box multi-line and accept the handler key so multi-line now in the key press event handler we're going to uh, here in the if statement we're going to add another condition. So, and ch is not equal to 13. 13 is the enter key. So, let's test it. Test it. Okay. Um, wait. Uh, okay. So, digit works. Letter doesn't work, the space doesn't work, but the enter key works. So, a multi line text box that only accepts numbers, backspace, and in the enter key. Okay, so that's all. I guess I hope you uh, learned something in this tutorial, and I hope my English was not so bad. And I hope you will subscribe to the to my channel. And if you want the code, it will um, will be able to find it in the video description. So um, that's all.